Welcome to the beer review with me, Jake. So as you can tell, we are looking at a beer from Brewdog today, and it's a collaboration beer, but not with another brewery, with a chocolate maker, believe it or not. So this is Brewdog and Tony's Chocolonely, Tony's Hopalonely. White chocolate and raspberry milkshake IPA coming in at 5.7%. So this is part of Brewdog's subscription box this month. This is of course one of their own beers. And originally I thought this was this was going to be a stout, but then when I looked it up, it says it's a milkshake IPA, which isn't my my favourite style of beer. But this one just sounded so nuts. I wanted to give it a little try on camera. So Tony's Chocolate Lonely, uh, they're an ethical chocolate brand basically. I've tried a few of their chocolate bars and, and they've been very pleasant, the ones that I have had. Uh, but watch the spiel on the back here then. Always a good spiel on a Brewdog can. So Brewdog and Tony's Chocolate Only are united for better beer and a better world. We're on a mission to help save our planet by inspiring you to act and care for the only home we have. We believe beer and chocolate can be a force for good. We'll be making a donation for every can sold to the Chocolate Only Foundation to support Tony's mission to make all chocolate 100% slave free. So there we go. So that, that, that can only be a good thing. And beer wise then, what are the ingredients? So we have water, malted barley, lactose, torrified wheat, malted oats, hops, yeast, raspberry, and white chocolate flavoring. Mm -mm. So let's let's see what this one's like then, shall we? I mean, raspberry and white chocolate's a winning combination, but uh, let's see how it is in a beer. Okay, I was expecting a little pinkish hue to it, but it doesn't seem to be. So we've got a hazy IPA looking beer. One of them. So it's a straw yellow. Okay, head. Oh, I'm starting to pick up some of those aromas now. Let's go in for a deeper inspection, nasally. Hmm. Smells like summer fruits squash. Undiluted, I'll add. It smells very sweet. Let's kick it up a little bit. A little bit of um like a bubblegum aroma. What are the hops in this? They do give you a, a bit of extra information in the pamphlet that they provide. A tannin and citra. Hmm. When you kick it up, you get the faintest hint of a beer underneath. Like if someone just chucked that under your nose and you're blindfolded. It, it, yeah, it just smells a bit like a fruit squash or a, or a soft drink. A little bit of a cream soda thing now. Bit of a clean and product whiff about it. But, but dominated by sort of concentrated berry aroma. Not much more to say on that. Let's go for a little taste. Very strange, very strange indeed. Ow, hit my fingy. Hmm. Hmm. Last time I had a milkshake IPA from Brewdog. What was in that one? I did a review of it a couple of months back. Like six months back now, probably. And that one was pleasantly surprising. It was marshmallow and something. I'll stick a I'll stick a link somewhere. This this is not my favourite. It's got a bit of a potpourri flavour to it. Not that I eat that much potpourri, but what I assume potpourri to taste like. The sweetness is is just very overpowering. Yeah, I mean the flavours are, are there. It's raspberry. It's a, there's a creaminess, not necessarily couldn't pinpoint that as white chocolate, but there's a vanilla creaminess to it. it it's it's remind me a bit of like a a frozen like raspberry f fruit split or like a melted Solero or something like that, but not as good as that. It's giving me a taste of like if you have like a like a fruity shampoo and like a bit of it gets in your mouth. It's lost the beeriness for me. The adjuncts are completely overpowering. 
you know, get a bit of a, like a cheap perfume thing now. It's really not doing it for me. Any redeeming features of it? Well, it's for a good cause, so that's good. It's an experience that I haven't had before, so that's good, that's positive. Um, but in terms of the actual contents of the can, yeah, it's not my cup of tea. And hey, I'm all for adjuncts and beers, but this, this one's just not doing it. This one's just not doing it for me, I'm afraid. And sometimes that happens. So even though they're donating money to the Tony's Chocolate Only Foundation, I mean, if you really want to support them, buy, buy the chocolate bars. So not one that I could recommend, based on my experiences. But everyone's got to try these things for themselves. So let me know if you've had this beer. Let me know your thoughts on it in the comments below. That has been everything from Brewdog and Tony's Chocolate Tony's Hopper Only. White Chocolate and Raspberry Milkshake IPA. I've been Jake, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Oh, no more.